extrinsic pathway. Now, prothrombin activator formation is also seen in extrinsic path. In extrinsic pathway, prothrombin activator formation occurs by substances present outside the blood. Now, when the tissues or damaged, damaged tissues, right? A tissue is damaged and from that damaged tissues, factor number 3 is released. Factor number 3 is tissue fact, also called tissue thromboplast. It is called tissue factor or tissue thromboplast. Tissue factor is a combination of three things, proteins, phospholipids and glycoproteins. Factor number three is called tissue factor or tissue thromboplastin. It includes three things, proteins, phospholipids and glycoproteins. Now factor number three activates factor number seven on release that factor number 3 will activate factor number 7. Now activated factor number 7, the activated factor number 7 and the phospholipids and glycoproteins, the phospholipids and glycoproteins present in factor number 3. In presence of calcium ions, will activate factor number 10. Right. The activated factor number 7, the factor number 3, the phospholipids glycoproteins present in factor number 3 and the activated factor number 7 in presence of calcium ions will activate factor number 10. This factor number 10 in presence of the phospholipids I mean the phospholipids present inside the factor number 3 hmm? it is not the phospholipids that we saw coming from late platelets as we see in case of intrinsic pathway this is the extrinsic pathway the phospholipids present inside the third and activated factor number 5 in presence of calcium ions will finally produce prothrombin activate. So extrinsic pathway is quite simple. So whenever tissues are damaged, from that damaged tissues factor number 3 is produced, released and that third factor is called tissue factor or tissue thromboplastin. Tissue factor includes a combination of three things, proteins, phospholipids and glycoproteins. Factor number three will activate factor number seven and that activated factor number seven along with phospholipids and glycoproteins present inside the factor number three in presence of calcium ions will activate factor number ten. That activated factor number ten along with the phospholipids present in factor number three and activated factor number 10 will finally produce prothrombin activator in presence of calcium ions.